So AstraZeneca asked TTP to develop a new dose counter for their Simbacort device, which is a very, very popular device. TTP has a lot of experience and expertise in developing high volume, high reliability devices for the medical industry. Uh, that is predicated on genuinely understanding the principles and mechanisms behind the device and how it works. Uh, that enables us to build a statistical model that takes into account not just tolerance analysis, but tolerance analysis, forces, material properties, thermal properties, engaging all of that together to give us a, a model that we can use to predict behavior in high volumes, tens of millions. So we, uh, we created a set of models for their existing concept, uh, did a fast track to failure mo uh, analysis on that, which told us that it was not going to achieve the level of reliability that we wanted. We therefore created a group of other concepts, put those together, ran them through the same kind of modeling, gave us a, a result which said that these would work. We chose the best ones of those, built more in-depth models and took those forward. Uh, that meant that we could then create prototypes and create production units uh, with a very, very high level of confidence that these things were going to work. We submitted that to the FDA with no questions asked, uh, and that is now in production in the tens and tens of millions per year. Um, what that means is that the patient gets an inhaler that gives them the confidence that they still have the doses remaining when they need it.